Hello friends, I'm your host Rishmeet and you are watching Patient Education Series on Cancer. Cancer is no longer considered a disease of developed nations only. There are 7 to 8 lakh new cancer patients every year in India. Cancer accounts for 8% of all deaths, but still, each year over 200,000 cases of head and neck cancer are registered in India. This scenario can be changed with awareness, early detection and preventive measures. Today, we will try to tackle questions regarding the head and neck cancer with the help of world-renowned oncologist Dr. V.P. Gangadharan. Dr. V.P. Gangadharan is a world-renowned oncologist, a fellowship holder from NCI and WHO. He has pioneered the idea of blood stem transplantation in Kerala and is the founder of the first medical oncology department in Trivandrum. He is the father of Cochin Cancer Society, a charitable institution that helps patients physically, mentally and financially. It is his pledge that no patient should go back without treatment due to lack of money. Dedicated to serve the humanity, he has launched the campaign to eradicate cancer completely and has been educating the people about prevention, early detection and treatment of cancer. An author of over 35 publications, he has received several awards till date and has been felicitated with Indira Gandhi Puraskar and JCI India Award for outstanding contribution in the field of medicine. It's a matter of immense pleasure to have Dr. V.P. Gangadharan with us. Let's welcome him. Hello, Doctor. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Doctor, cases of head and neck cancer are increasing alarmingly every year in our country. The worst part is that the common man is unaware and lacks information regarding this cancer. So please tell us, what is head and neck cancer? The head and neck cancers are from the second commonest cancer in males in India. To rank it, it was the first uh, when uh, I started my career maybe about 20 years back, the commonest cancer in males in uh, India was head and neck cancers. A threat is always there. Probably this is going to be the commonest cancer of tomorrow in males in India. Why would you claim it as a cancer of tomorrow? I think uh, I'm very clear in my concept to say that the statistics uh, do show that the incidence of smoking among youngsters, especially the males, youngsters, is coming down. At the same time, tobacco in other forms. I'll put as uh, tobacco in beautiful uh, colored uh, packages, which you use as hands, pan product, there on the rice. So, uh, it is uh, becoming rampant uh, among uh, youngsters. I'll put as even among school children. Uh, starting from the age of when they are in the 8th standard, there are a lot of people who are using it now. And uh, that is going to be, or that's the, on the increase now, which is going to be the menace of uh, the next generation. And so definitely this is going to be the uh, next cancer, going to be the highest uh, among males in India. What are the warning signs of head and neck cancer? Again, it's a cancer which, uh, which can be, you mean, uh, suspected early. The warning signs are, white patches happening in the mouth or oral cavity, maybe in the tongue, maybe in the floor of mouth or maybe in the cheek. Painless white patches, especially if you are going to be a tobacco chewer. It's a warning sign saying that yes, you have used uh, enough of tobacco. If you are going to stop at this level, I will go back. But uh, suppose you are going to continue with the habit, I am going to change my face. And the next phase may be that the patch uh, becomes uh, confluent and extends all throughout the mouth. That's one of the, uh, the manifestations. Many times uh, you see painless, slowly growing ulcers in the mouth. Usually a painful intermittent ulcer, that is ulcers that are coming and going, they are not cancerous. They are labeled as after ulcers, which never become malignant, which are never cancerous. But if there is an ulcer, it is painless to start with but slowly growing, think of the possibility of a uh, cancer happening. So that's again a warning sign. Or it may be a growth. Sometimes a, I mean proliferatory growth happening in the oral cavity without pain. 
This again is a warning sign. So if any of these are there, I think suspect the possibility of a, uh, I mean, a cancer happening in the head and neck. One of the other signs may be swellings coming in the neck, head and neck. Painless swellings in the head and neck are coming or painless ulcerations happening in the head and neck. Think of the possibility of head and neck cancers. What are the causes of head and neck cancer? I think uh, when, you, when you say about the, the, the causative factors, tobacco stands out first. Think of the possibility of some infections also, like uh, HPV infections. And caries tooth is again uh, something which you have to think of. Uh, a caries tooth, that means a, a sharp tooth remaining and going on, I mean even rubbing and rubbing against the surface, can go for the development of a, uh, oral cavity cancers. The diagnosis of uh, oral cancers uh, is based on your suspicion first and the diagnosis is uh, again easy because you are going to look into and go for a biopsy of the suspected site which uh, clinches the diagnosis uh, in the case of head and neck cancer. Is head and neck cancer preventable? Is it a detectable cancer? Again uh, very interesting is it's a preventable cancer. So this is something very interesting about the cancers in India because uh, if you take the males both the major cancers in males are preventable. If you take the female cancers, both the major cancers are preventable to a certain extent and uh, can be detected early to a certain extent. These are all interesting uh, strategies which has to be thought of when uh, somebody is planning uh, a strategy against uh, cancer in India. So it's uh, the cancer is in head and neck. It, it's, uh, it's easily detectable. Preventable, we said. What are the, how are, what is your uh, immune detection program? I think uh, everybody is uh, looking into the mouth and every day you go into the mirror, open up the mouth and see as to you got a white patch or you, do you have an ulcer which is there or something new coming up. These are all the ways by which you can uh, look and suspect the possibility of a, uh, I mean, a cancer happening in the oral cavity. So doctor, what are the treatment options available? The treatment options in, uh, in, uh, head and neck tumors are again uh, surgery, radiation, plus or minus chemotherapy. So the concept again is very important. That means uh, the preservation of the organ as well as uh, you mean uh, the structural as uh, the function as well as the cosmosis is important in head and neck tumors. That means the surgery should not uh, you mean disfigure the patient too much. So a cosmetic surgery again is something which is, that means that you are not compromising the cure, you are not compromising the outcome, but uh, the cosmosis has to be kept again. So a good uh, surgery, a good well done surgery, preserving the function is again something which is uh, in the early stages. Radiotherapy is equally good. So that means uh, depending on the site of disease and the stage of disease, the treatment options varies going for a surgery or a radiation or a plus or minus chemotherapy. Many a times a combination of all these three becomes necessary. That means starting off with radiation and then going for a surgery or going for a surgery first and then going for a radiation as adjuvant treatment. Everything is based on the initial stage of disease as well as the site of disease plus your plan to keep up the function of the organ. So that is important uh, when you are applying the treatment. So I think it should be a good comprehensive treatment center where you go for the treatment. The role of chemotherapy again is coming up in head neck tumors because uh, initially to start off with chemotherapy also you can go ahead to try to reduce the tumors as well as you can potentiate the effect of radiation again by adding chemotherapy to it. The advantage in terms of uh, the radiation which has come out is newer techniques and newer machines. One of the real problems with the treatment of head and neck cancers by radiation was severe dryness of mouth which used to happen because uh, you are uh, burning off or you are just destroying all the uh, glands which uh, result in moistening of your mouth through saliva. So salivary glands are getting uh, you mean damaged or getting burnt off so that the mouth becomes dry and the patient is not able to swallow anything and the complication starts. But with the newer modalities of uh, treatment like IMRT and IGRT, I think you are able to uh, I mean spare these uh, uh, sites so that the morbidity is very less and the patient acceptance becomes much, much more. So the message to be taken out is, uh, if there is any possibility, go and take treatment in uh, better machines than going for the age-old uh, conventional machines. What is the success rate of treatment? Is it a recurrent cancer? Yes, uh, I think uh, the cure rate is uh, high, but head and neck cancers in early stage are curable. 
but uh, they do come back they can uh, again come back like in their cancers back with the disease but the option still remains like if the patient has got a chance for salvage by going for a surgery the patient has to go for a surgery or if the initial surgery was done but you can salvage by radiation i think the patient goes for a salvage radiation so i think still the recurrence is not the end of the day still you are able to go ahead so the message to be taken out is curable in the early stages palliation is possible in the later stages so don't go with the disease and go with a very very bad advanced disease that's what happens many a times negligence and going for a bad disease where disfigurement happens patient is not able to even go outside because of the bad disease that the patient is having dr vp gangadharan we thank you for your valuable contribution to our effort thank you thank you very much friends cancer in head and neck can be managed at early stage but there are several factors which can curb this disease so friends adopting a healthy lifestyle is the precaution we can take to avoid head and neck cancer i think today's topic has been what we aimed for but if you want to ask something related to the subject you can always contact us our address is department of medical oncology lakeshore hospital nh47 bypass marudu netur post office kochi kerala 682040 you can also call us on 9847064668 you can also email us on drvpgangadharan@gmail.com today We discussed about a very dangerous form of cancer that develops in the head and neck. So keep watching patient education series on cancer. Till then, eat healthy, be aware and live happy. Kyunki hame aapki fikr hai.